All right, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a tangent line a question. So here I say find the equation of the tangent line to h of x equals 4 minus 2x plus x squared at x equals 2. So a tangent line, as we've talked a little bit before, if you, if you look at the graph, I've drawn a real basic sketch of this graph right here, very, very basic sketch. So at x equals 2, let's say that's right here, okay, so we're saying that's x equals 2. All right, the tangent line to the graph at x equals 2, it has the same slope as this graph, okay, at 2, the same slope, and it touches the graph at x equals 2, just, you know, just touches it at that one point, okay, and later on down the road in another equation sometimes it'll touch somewhere else, but in that local area it just touches at that one point and has the same slope, that's what a tangent line is. So to figure out the tangent line, you know, to write an equation of a line in general, you need two things, you need a point, you need a slope, okay, well, <clears throat> The point you can figure out, we know that the x-coordinate of one, a point is x equals 2. So to figure out the y-coordinate of that point, we know that at x equals 2, our tangent line touches our graph. So what we can do is just plug 2 into the original equation, and that will figure out the y-value of our point that we're going to use okay, for our tangent line. So let's see, h of 2 is going to be 4 minus 2 times 2 is 4, and then plus... 2 squared is going to be 4, so it's just going to end up being 4. So we have right here, our point is 2 comma 4. Okay? So that's the point that we're going to use. There are other points on that line, of course, but that's kind of the point that we know. Alright? And the other thing we need for a line is its slope. So again, I said this, the, uh, the line has the same slope as the graph at x equals 2. So what we can do is we can find out what is the slope of the graph at x equals 2. The way we do that, we take the derivative. Okay, so I take the derivative of this, and um, when I do that, the derivative of uh, 4 is just 0, it's a constant. The derivative of minus 2x is minus 2. The derivative of x squared is going to be plus 2x. I'm using the power rule uh, for this derivative. So here's my derivative of h, okay, which just tells me the slope, it's the general rule of slope of my function h of x here. So this is h prime. So what I need to do is I need to figure out what is the slope at 2. So I take and I plug 2 into this equation becomes negative 2 plus 4, which is equal to 2, okay? So, um, I have a, a slope. This is my slope. So again, that's the slope of the graph at 2, which is this going to be the slope of the tangent line at x equals 2. So, you know, here the slope happened to be 2 at x equals 2. That's not going to be the case all the time. You sometimes are obviously going to have a different slope than your x value, okay? But anyways, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use point-slope form to write this uh, equation of a line, so that's just y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. I'm going to go ahead and plug in, so I have my point 2, 4, I have my slope of 2, so I'll plug 4 in for y1, 2 is going to go in for the slope, and for x1 it's going to be 2. So there's my equation, my line. It's in point-slope form. If you, you know, have a multiple-choice question and you notice the the forms are like you know slope-intercept form, you'd have to change it now. But you know, if this is a free-response question, there's no problem leaving it just like that.